Hey everybody, welcome to the speed build. Today I just want to share some stories and have a good time. <laughs> I don't have an intro for doing these voiceover videos, but I'm sure I'll find one soon. <laughs> find one, make one, I don't know. But the first story that I wanted to tell is about the first aid course that I took today. Um, me and my friend went to this uh, first aid course that was really cool, it was really interesting. Me and her had never been to one before and we needed one to be able to do online gym, which we're going to do next year, uh, which I will get to uh, after I tell the first aid story. But what it is, is there was this, the teacher and there was about 13 other people, including me and my friend. So, like the first section, there was a lot of it. It was a long day. It was like from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., I think, which <laughs> is a long time. But the first section of it, there was like a plastic dummy that was on the ground, and it was really cool because there was this, um, I don't know, a tube that went from its mouth into a plastic bag in its chest that when you breathed into it, the chest would rise, which I thought was really cool. So we just went over like CPR kind of thing. And if you've taken a first aid course, you will know what I'm talking about. But so yeah, we did CPR first and then the teacher just went through this Canadian uh, Red Cross handbook I don't really know what it's called but it just went through all these kind of steps and procedures to what to do in case of an emergency so I know how to do all that now which is really cool and that was about it there were more people than I was expecting but it was a smaller class than you would normally have I think and like all the people, I was expecting them to be around me and my friend's age, but they were all like in their late 20s, early 30s, like most of them, not most of them, a few of them had kids, I think, but they were all really nice, which was good. Um, and normally a first aid course would be like two full days, but the one that I took was just one day, which was really nice, but it did cram everything really close together. Well, not in a bad way, but just it was a lot of information to take in. Um, that's probably why the day was so long as well. When I came home, I had a really bad headache. Um, so, you know, but it was fun. It was cool. Very interesting. <laughs> um, so the second thing was the online gym that I wanted to talk about, which if any of you guys know me, I hate gym with a fiery passion. <laughs> I am not a active or physical person. I hate everything having to do with physical activity. <laughs> me and my mom went around and looked to see if there were any online gym courses that I could take for grade 10 next year so that I wouldn't have to do it, you know what I mean, like at school. And we found this one place that did online gym for grade 10 during the summer so that I won't have to do it at all in school and I would just get like a free period to either have another class or a like a free period to like catch up on stuff and do whatever I want. I'll probably have like another science in there somewhere because I really like science. But uh, how to pass this online gym, what you need to do is you just have a notebook and you write in the physical activity that you've done. And then you get a parent or a guardian to sign it and say, yeah, he or she did this. And then you just take this like self-assessment at the end of the the thing, the course, and then, you know, write whatever you want. Like, yeah, I accomplished all my goals. I forgot to mention, but it's only four weeks. Instead of an entire school year, it's four short weeks of this. And then you never have to take gym ever again. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, I'm so mind blown. That is, why haven't I been doing this all my life? <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that's basically 
all of those <laughs> fun stuff. Uh, and I'm probably not going to make it through the entire video doing the voiceover because it is 15 minutes long, which is a really long time uh, talking for me. So I'll probably get through like half of it and then stop. Uh, so yeah. The other story that I wanted to bring up is, okay, so I hate talking in class with a, I was going to say fiery passion, but <laughs> I said that way too many times in this video. I think I said it like twice now, but I, I am a very shy person and I don't really like people, <laughs> which might sound kind of bad. Like, yes, I know like most people are friendly, but like the people in my school and in my class, they are terrible people. They are so annoying and obnoxious and loud. <laughs> and most of the teachers are pretty good about not calling me in class because I think they kind of know like, oh, that girl doesn't ever talk in class. I think she's shy. But my uh, social studies teacher, my social studies and LA teacher, he calls on me a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I never put up my hand ever. Even if I'm like 90% sure I know the answer, I still don't put it up. <laughs> but whenever the teacher does call on me, or whenever I do a presentation, which I hate them so much, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to pass, and then get out of this place. <laughs> but whenever I talk, or whenever, like, I don't even have to talk, this guy in my class, I don't know why, but like he's always like hey news reporter like he calls me that he calls me a news reporter or like randomly in the middle of the class he'll be like doesn't she have the voice to be a news reporter like come on <laughs> what are you doing so i don't like attention i don't like drawing attention to myself like just leave me alone like even i ask my friend when it like becomes my birthday don't say happy birthday to me and don't tell anyone it's my birthday that's how much i hate attention like just she said can i whisper it and i said no <laughs> on the chance someone will hear no you're not allowed to do anything and i hate those people who decorate your locker like i know they probably mean well but like no that's my locker <laughs> leave it alone <laughs> But yeah, that is embarrassing. And like in front of the whole class, he just, doesn't she have a voice to be a news reporter? Like, <laughs> I don't know, all the kids in my class are so annoying and like they yell and they run around the class like they're in grade two. Like you're not, you're going into high school next year. Like, come on. <laughs> so that's really annoying. One of the reasons I hate school, like if you take all of the annoying people who don't want to be there out of the school and just keep the people who want to be there and want to learn it would be such a better place <laughs> like i i like school i just hate the people <laughs> kick them out so before i'm gonna talk about my microphone again just bear with me um before i got my amazing microphone that i love so much i like i loved making videos but I just kind of felt bad uploading them, <laughs> if that makes any sense, because they were such terrible quality with my headset that I felt bad for all of you guys. And I'm like, Ugh, no one wants to watch this, it's terrible quality, meh, you know. <laughs> because like, I think quality in YouTube videos and just videos in general are very, very important. So if you like don't have good quality, like, I don't want to say anything to offend someone, but people are not as inclined to watch them, if that makes sense. So when I got this amazing quality microphone, um, I just got this sudden urge to just like make videos so much and just use it, you know what I mean? I think that goes with everyone. Like, if you get something new, you want to use it as much as you can, right? So that's why I've kind of been doing these voiceovers, like an extra chance to use my microphone. Yay! Also, I think that I just butchered all of those words right there. So excuse me for that. 
Also, I... <laughs> It bugs me when those, like, YouTubers who are good at making voiceovers are like, Oh, it's taken me, like, two tries to do this. Like, oh, so long. The, the voiceover that I did for the Create a Sim a couple days ago, that was two seconds long. That took me 15 plus times. Like, I have lost count. I don't know. I had 11 saved files, but I know that I deleted a bunch of them of, like, voiceover clips. And I think that's kind of sad, <laughs> but most of them is whenever I'm nervous, which I am recording videos or like voiceover sometimes, because if you mess up, like it's difficult to just cut that part out because then it, it sounds weird. It doesn't match up, you know, but then with a the video, you could just cut out a big section. Like it doesn't really matter as much, <laughs> but, um, so I get really nervous when I'm talking sometimes so then i talk really fast and then it's hardly understandable and then i get really like out of breath <laughs> i probably am now too because i also laugh a lot which i don't think that's a bad thing but it does <laughs> make it difficult to talk and it makes you run out of breath faster <laughs> which is not a great thing <laughs> yeah Let's just see what else I have to talk about. I wrote some ideas down, but I think I covered them all. So I'm going to end this voiceover here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.